Hello everyone, welcome back to PC Tech Help. This is Cyber Sorcerer again. And this time we're going to get into uh, C programming. And for those of you that have downloaded the Dev C uh, IDE, we'll go ahead and open that up and we'll get started. This is just going to be a quick, simple program to multiply two numbers so you can uh, get an idea of the layout of C and a little bit of how a C program is formatted. I'll explain a little bit as we go by. Don't worry about it. If you don't understand something, we'll get into it more de uh, in depth down the road. But I'm going to try to fit this uh, first introductory video within 10 minutes. And then um, down the road, we'll have part one, part two, part three of different things for like variables and functions and stuff like that. But right now, we'll just click on the third button here, source file, or you can go up to file and hit new source file. And the first thing we want to put in is our preprocessor directive, which we're going to include a file standard or stdio.h the h stands for a header file we're not going to really need it uh, for this program because there's nothing in the uh, standard input output file that uh, we're going to need a de declaration for or anything but it's always uh, a good habit to make sure you include that file in everything you do um, because when you get into more in-depth programming and stuff there's uh, about three or four different files that you'll actually need for everything including the windows header file. But right now we need to, next we're going to put a function declaration to declare our function that we're going to be using to multiply the two numbers. It's going to return a value of integer. We're going to name it multiply. And the first parameter is going to be an integer of A and then an integer of B. And then a col semi uh, close it off in a semicolon. Over here we're going to put a comment which would be a forward slash and a star and we'll go ahead and name this function declaration and then a star and a forward slash which will end it. Now those of you that are uh, wanting to learn C because you need it for work or you're trying to get a job in work there's this function call, I mean this comment right here which is a multi-line comment with a forward slash star and star forward slash and there's also one that just has two forward slashes which is a single line comment so in other words you put two forward slashes and everything on this one line right here will be treated as a comment Th this is the standard the multi-line one is a standard one that uh, is pretty much used that way you can put a single line comment or if you want to turn it into a multi-line comment you can do that too and it's going to always be commented out so you don't get no compiler error now we're going to start our main function. Every C program has a main function that where it starts at. And for those of you that will be taking the reverse engineering part, this will be considered the entry point or the reverse entry point, the OEP, for those uh, programs that are packed. And uh, all this is, is this is where the program is going to start. After you double click on a program and it sets aside memory space and declares all the variables and all the stuff it needs to do, after it's done with all of its uh, pre setup work then the main function is where it's actually going to start doing all of its work so we're going to put in integer it's going to return a value also and we'll put our bracket oh, end it off our bracket our closing bracket and then we'll start our function first thing we need to do is reserve space for our variables up here our variable a and b so that was integer and we're going to have A equals to 5, let's say, and B is going to be equal to 15. And then one more integer, which we're going to name result. And the result is going to be this integer right here, which is going to hold, after our function multiplies A and B, the result right here is going to be the integer that holds the value. Now we need to send a message to the console this is going to be just a regular Windows console program and uh, we're going to use the print f function for that for format and we'll go ahead and end it put our two commas in there and we'll put how about five spaces and results actually let's just put multiply results We'll need a slash in and a slash in. 
what I'm trying to do here is format this with these spaces format it so it shows up kind of nice and neat in the uh, DOS console and then under that we'll put another format F and set it up and we'll just put some dashed lines here and we'll need also a new line on that now we get down to some work now since we have our multiply function uh, declared with a return type of integer and we've declared the return as result now we're going to use that result we're going to put result is equal to multiply and for in here all we need to do is nothing fancy we already have a up here with a value of 5 and b with a value of 15 so we're just going to multiply a with a comma and b and then end it with our semicolon that's because we only have two parameters up here we have the first one and the second one if we added one more parameter then the compiler wouldn't know what to do because we only have one function declared and it only this function only accepts two parameters not three so now we have our result our uh, multiplication result held in our result variable and now we all we need to do is just display it to the screen and to do that we're gonna again use our trusty friend print f with our quotation marks if I can get my fingers to work properly now on now we're gonna put our uh, results that's gonna hold all the multiplications and our variables and everything and it's also going to show us the variables a and b so we know exactly what we're multiplying and to do that we're gonna get a little fancy and like I said all this will be explained later on this is just a program to, uh, that I'm putting together that you can follow along and uh, type it in yourself after you got it typed and compiled then you can uh, change it the way you want and uh, learn a little, little bit more about it now we have five spaces up here so we'll go ahead and put our two three four five spaces down here and I'm gonna put a percentage sign and a zero one and a D and that just tells us I'm reserving space for a decimal or data object however way you want to look at it however way it helps you to remember is uh, the key here and then a plus and I'm gonna put the percentage sign with a zero two because I'm going to hold two variables we got the one and a five and then a D there and we'll just put equals here so we got five plus fifteen actually we're multiplying that so let's put our multiplication sign in there equals and then all we have to do here is put in the results of our um, multiplication and that again is going to be a percentage sign with zero two and a d now we're going to go past the as you can see right here we're going to go past that and put a comma in there because now we're going to fill in these three variables right here that we got we're going to put in in the same order the one the second one and the third one so the first one's going to be our a variable then b and then lastly is the result now we're going to end it by returning zero and now some of you might think we're done but actually we're not we got one more thing to do and that's declare or put in our multiplication function up here to actually do the multipl multiplication and return the value so again we need an integer multiply and just a b and then go down like we're declaring the main function we need this face up here and then all we're going to do here, this is just a real simple, we're going to return A times B and semicolon to end it. Now I've saved it as sample C, and we'll just go ahead and compile it. And it's compiled. We'll switch over to our DOS. Let me move it up here so you can see. And we'll go ahead and run sample EXE. And there you go. We'll see you in the next tutorial. We barely made it.